Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Holcomb Stadium in Mesa. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network. It's play-by-play coverage in the 2013 Desert Classic, session number two. And we've got a semifinal game this morning in the upper class division. And it features the Angels Red Squad against the Huskies. And by way of the higher seed, the Huskies, the home team, so the Angels leading off here with Connor Woods, their second baseman. Woods at the plate now, down, no balls, and two strikes to get things going here this morning. Winner will advance, of course, to the championship game. As we await the 0-2 pitch, and that one's fouled back to the backstop, and we stay no balls and two strikes. The winner advances to the championship game and will face the winner of the Angels Blue Squad and AZ Pro Team Brockish, and that uh, game going on here at uh, Holcomb over the auxiliary field as a ball is lined into center field and that's going to get down for a base hit to get things started here this morning. A single for Connor Woods and he's aboard at first base and it'll bring up Nola Tarasano. Tarasano the center fielder so Woods at second, Tarasano in center. Joe Ito bats third and he's the starting pitcher. Batting fourth is the shortstop Tyler Murphy. Josh Moore hits fifth and plays left field. Adam Wolf at third base hits sixth. The number seven hitter is the first baseman Nick Story. Then Preston Ryan is an extra hitter. He bats eighth. So the pitch is over for a strike. The number nine hitter is the catcher Brian Leitz. And Joe Nunnally rounds out the order. He starts in right field and bats tenth. Zach Schultz is starter today for the Huskies. And the left-hander will flip over to first base. And Woods is back. And the set runner goes. And the pitch a strike to throw to second base. And safe at second to call. So Woods moves himself in a scoring position. He steals second base. Now time called. Schultz, a left-hander, looking in, now sets. He'll check back to second, and the 0-2 is a swing and a miss over the top of a breaking ball, it looked like. And Tarasano strikes out, and that's the first down of the inning for the Angels. Now with Woods at second and one out, the batter is Joe Ito. Woods takes off, get a swing and a miss for a strike, but Woods steals third base without a throw. Now the set, the one strike pitch. Bounced in, gets away, and that'll bring a run in. On a wild pitch as Woods moves around the bases and scores for the Angels. They get a run in the top of the first inning. Woods with a single and then a steal of second, steal of third, and then he scores on a wild pitch. No one one to Ito. And a fly ball hit well out to left center field. Uh, the outfielders see it fall between them. Ito's going to try for a second base, and he'll be in ahead of the throw. A little miscommunication or lack of communication maybe in the outfield there. And the ball drops for a double for Ito. And he's coming off, and we'll get a courtesy runner out at second base. Nice 
95 coming out there, and we don't have a 95 on the roster or the lineup card that we got from the Angels. Have two 97s listed, though. Next story, the first baseman who I mentioned a little later in the order wearing 97, and then they have uh, Tim Cerna wearing 97. So I don't know if maybe that's Cerna wearing 95 out there at second base as the first one to Tyler Murphy is low for a ball. The set of the 1-0. And misses low, two balls and no strikes. The defense for the Huskies this morning. Kobe Tinsley is in left field. Evan Williams is in center. And Hunter Townsend plays right field. Matt Croons at third base. Josh Briston is the shortstop. George Jennings plays second. And Chris Isbell is at first. Ryan Bricker catching Zach Schultz. And a hard hit ground ball. Fielded by Riston on to Isbell at first base for the second out as the runner moves to third base. A 6 3 ground out, the second out of the inning, and now the batter is Josh Moore. First pitch to Moore misses for ball one. Angels with a run here in the top of the first inning. The upper class semifinals. The 1 0 pitch. That's outside for a ball, 2 0. Set from Schultz in the 2-0 pitch. Misses low, 3-0. Adam Wolf, the third baseman, awaits on deck for the Angels. And that next pitch high, and it's a four-pitch walk to Josh Moore as he'll Make his way to first base, and that'll put runners at the corners with two outs for Wolf. Schultz trying to pitch out of further trouble here in the first inning, ready to go now against Wolf. Runner from first goes, and the ball fouled back to the netting for a strike. A quiet morning here at Holcomb Stadium. I think kind of because of the size of the tournament, they were forced to push the tournament into Monday, originally scheduled for just Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Pitches over the outside corner for a strike, and it's 0-2. But uh, early part of last week, maybe toward the middle part, the uh, tournament got extended because of the extra games and uh, the number of teams and so forth, and I think field availability perhaps. So the 0-2 has popped up, and this will get back into the seats out of play. Angels with a run here in the first inning, trying to add to it with runners at first and third and two outs. Wolf looking to come up with something with two strikes. Schultz with a set, and he'll snap the throw over to first base. Runner takes off, and the Huskies are going to give up a run here to get the out. As Moore stays in the rundown long enough to get the run home as Ito's courtesy runner scores, and the Angels get a second run. Here in the first inning after a half, it's the Angels 2 and the Huskies coming up. Huskies go to work in the bottom of the first inning. George Jennings, their second baseman, leads off and takes strike one from Joe Ito. 
Jennings leads off, followed by Josh Briston and Chris Isbell. Matt Kroon hits fourth. Evan Williams is fifth. Max Malinak is the DH for the Huskies. He hits sixth. And a line drive out towards second base, caught there by Woods. And Jennings hits the ball hard, but add Woods for the out, and there's one away. That brings up Josh Briston. But uh, Malinak, I mentioned sixth. Kobe Tinsley hits seventh. Hunter Townsend is eighth. Ryan Bricker, ninth. And Nash Bell in the lineup as an extra hitter, batting tenth. And that one's going to come back, and that's fouled off. And the count, no balls and one strike. The 0 1 pitch. Breaking ball over for a strike, and it's 0 2. One out, base is empty. Bottom of the first inning, Huskies trailing the Angels 2 0. Which is high for a ball, one and two. Back to the wind, Ito on the one-two pitch. And a breaking ball and a swing and a miss. And Burston strikes out, two away in the inning. And the batter is Chris Isbell. Fastball over the outer half of the plate for a strike to Isbell, and it's 0-1. The one-strike pitch. And a ground ball up the middle, fielded on the second base side of the bag by the shortstop Murphy, and his throw on to first base is in time, and it's a quick and quiet three-up, three-down first inning for the Huskies after one. The Huskies... Trail the Angels two to nothing. Top of the second inning from Holcomb Stadium in Mesa. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network as Adam Wolf back in there and leading off this time for the Reds. He was at the, for the Angels Red, I should say. He was at the plate when Josh Moore was caught stealing to end the first inning. First one missed for a ball. The second one outside two and zero the count. The 2-0 pitch. Well, that ball hit uh, well, but uh, well fouled on the left field side. Two balls and a strike now on Wolf. Nick Story, Preston Ryan follow for the Angels. Ball goes to the backstop, and they count three and one. And the ground ball foul. Outside of third base, and the count goes to three and two. Three balls, two strikes on Wolf to lead off the second inning for the Angels. They lead two to nothing. And the three two. And a swing and a miss. Pitch up out of the strike zone there. Wolf trying to go up to get it and could not catch up. One down, and the batter is Nick Story. The ball 
fouled off. The ball hit well out to right field. And it hits off the fence. Extra bases here as Story is in at second base. Just missed. Leaving the yard over by the bullpen area out behind right field. And Nick Story with a one-out double. Now Preston Ryan, the extra hitter for the Angels. Ground ball over to the right side, and that's going to slide through into right field. Runner will try as the throw comes home. It's not in time. And an RBI single for Preston Ryan, and it's 3-0 Angels. Good piece of hitting to begin with as he puts the ball on the right side of the infield with the runner at second base. And then... Uh, even better result for the Angels is that uh, the ball gets through and into right field. Good effort by Jennings, the second baseman, but uh, just out of his reach. And then Townsend with the throw. Plate word not quite in time as Story scores from second. And now the first one to Brian Leitz misses for ball one. Throw to first and the runner back. Schultz with a set. He's going to step and throw to first base, and they got the runner going. And the throw down to second base is going to be in time. 1 3 6 on the caught stealing for the second out, and that's the Challenge running against a left-hander if you try to go on that first move. If there's any hesitation at all by the pitcher, then uh, they got a chance to get you going to second base. It takes two good throws, and that's what happened there. Schultz to Esbell, and then Esbell to Briston to apply the tag. And a half swing and a miss for a strike, and it's one and one. Balls and a strike now on Brian Leitz. Batting with the bases empty and two outs are run in for the Angels. They lead the Huskies 3-0. And the 2-1 pitch is high for a ball 3-1. Now the set and the 3-1 pitch. And that's popped up, but uh, that'll get out of play behind the uh, dugout, or near the dugout on the first base side anyway. And the count goes to three and two. And a miss for a ball, and Leitz is aboard. Courtesy runner going in at first base. Skylar Dush running at first. And a tap right at the plate off the bat of John Nunnally for strike one. 3-0 Angels batting in the top of the second inning. Semi-final game in the underclass division of the 2013 Desert Classic, session number two. Now 
And the ground ball hits his short. They'll go the short way to second base to retire the courtesy runner of 6 4 force. And a fielder's choice ends the inning. Angels add another run in the second, though, as they get a run on two hits and they leave one. After an inning and a half, it's the Angels three and the Huskies nothing. Matt Kroon, the leadoff hitter for the Huskies in the second inning, and he takes the first pitch high for a ball. Kroon, Williams, and Malinak for the Huskies in inning number two as they trail 3-0. The ball fouled out of play down the right side. The count goes to one ball and one strike. Now two balls and a strike. This Huskies team has had a good run in the last month or so through the uh, Southwest Woodbent Classic tournaments as the pitch is a strike. Huskies played in the championship game of the Memorial Day tournament. And a ground ball foul on the third base side. We stayed two and two, and they lost in that. Championship game to the uh, Gauchos Black by a final score of 5-3. to three. And then they played in the championship game of the uh, Desert Classic Session 1 a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, that pitch is over a cold third strike, and Kroon is the first down in the second inning. That'll bring up Evan Williams. But uh, playing in that championship game uh, a couple of weeks ago on a Sunday, the Huskies beat... The Nutty Buddy National Team by a score of 9-6. to six. Williams will try to get things started here with one out in the second inning. That first one from Ito misses for ball one. And the 1-0 pitch. Ground ball, and that's through and into left field, a base hit. First base runner, first base hit for the Huskies. It's a one-out single for Evan Williams. He's on it first for Max Malinak. The DH ready and uh, going after the first pitch. Up and down to the strike zone, foul it back to the netting for strike one. Now the Huskies have a right hander starting to throw in the bullpen. We are to that point of the tournament, uh, depending on how each team is staffed. Or they're going to be. Uh, Looking for arms to get through uh, today's ball game. So that pitch is foul out of play on the right side, and it's 0-2. And it all depends on how a team stacks up. And, of course, it depends on how the tournament has gone up to this point. Typically, you get to winner's bracket games, and you figure that uh, you know they've uh, pitched pretty well and hit the ball pretty well and all that to where they might be too depleted. Well, might not be too depleted. Yeah, so another one is fouled off. But you're also, I suppose, in a position where it is uh, an elimination situation. If you win, you advance to the championship game. If you lose, your tournament's over. And so you got to find available arms. And the Huskies down 3 nothing after an inning and a half. We'll see if they go uh, right to the bullpen and begin the third inning or if, in fact, they have Schultz go out there to try to get through another one as 
Melanac swings and misses, maybe fooled on the breaking ball. And that's out number two. Third strike out of the ball game for Joe Ito. And the batter is the left fielder, Kobe Tensley. Huskies down 3 nothing, hitting in the bottom of the second inning, runner at first and two away. That's Hunter Townsend that was throwing in the bullpen. He had to get back in here on a jog because he's the uh, next hitter if Tinsley is able to reach Townsend will bat for the Huskies here in the second. Runner goes, the ball pulled to the left side, picked up by the third baseman Wolf on to Story at first. And that ends the inning. Tinsley grounds out, and the Huskies are done in the second inning. No runs a hit, and one left. After two, the Huskies trail the Angels 3-0. Zach Schultz out there to begin the third inning for the Huskies and his first pitch to Connor Woods on the outside corner a strike. And the 0-1 pitch, a ground ball foul outside of third base, and it's 0-2. Now the two-strike pitch. Fastball misses away. Woods, I guess, a guy you want to keep off the bases. He had a single back in the first inning. That start of the ball game. He stole second, stole third, and scored on a wild pitch. The one-two. And a line drive just out of the reach of the shortstop, Briston, and into left field. And not going to keep Woods off the bases. And we'll see what happens this time around. As Woods has his second base hit at the batter of Nola Tarasano. Easy throw to first and the runner back. Tarasano struck out swinging back in the first. And a swing and a miss for a strike. Another easy throw to first again, just uh, maybe trying to guess that uh, Woods might be taken off. The 0-1 is outside, one ball and one strike. Out of the 1 1. And that ball pushed through on the right side and into right field, a base hit. And the Angels have something going here in the third inning. Back to back base hits to begin the third. And the batter is Joe Ito. Ito with a double, his first time up. Courtesy runner scored a run. The bunch shown, the pitch is high, and that's ball one.
Two aboard, nobody out in the top of the third. I'll look back to second, but no throw. That ball bunted on the third base side. Going to be a good bunt. And look at it sitting right on the line. And that is a bunt base hit. Thought when that ball hit the lip of the grass it might take a left turn there and roll off. But it did roll down a little bit but still settle right on the chalk line. And so Ito with a bunt base hit. And that loads them up for the Angels in the third for Tyler Murphy. Murphy going after the first one, fouls it off. He grounded out his first time up, but now batting with the bases loaded and nobody out in the third. The 0-1 is fouled out of play, and it's 0-2. And another one foul out of play. This one a little deeper down the right field side. Another two strike pitch. And Murphy able to foul it off. Another two-strike pitch and another foul ball. That's three two-strike pitches fouled off by Murphy. The set, another two-strike pitch. And one misses. This one a ball. And it's one and two. Woods at third. Sarasano at second. And Cerna running for Ito at first. Nobody out in the Angels' third inning. They lead 3 nothing. Fastball high. Two and two. And the 2-2 two -two pitch, check swing, and the grounder foul. Well, good at bat here for Murphy, trying to find a pitch he can drive and maybe knock in a run or two. That pitch high, it pops out of the glove of Bricker, but... Not far enough for Woods to try to advance. Now the count runs full and nowhere to put Tyler Murphy with the bases loaded. Ball four walks in a run. Three two pitch and a swing and a miss. Schultz hangs in there and he gets Murphy for the first out. A ten pitch at bat. And Murphy, the first down of the inning. 
Now Josh Moore will look to do some damage here with the bases loaded and one out. And the first pitch high for ball one. Angels with two runs in the first inning. And a run in the second. The 1-0 pitch. This one going to miss. It's 1-1. One and one. One one pitch. Breaking ball just misses. Two and one. And we saw Hunter Townsend getting loose in the Husky bullpen while they were batting in the bottom of the second. I don't know if he had enough time to get loose out there. Some breaking ball misses outside. Three and one. Or if in fact he is ready and. Uh, Set to be called upon here. Three balls and a strike on Josh Moore. Adam Wolf next for the Angels. Bases loaded, one out. And the 3 1 pitch. And that's fouled back out of play. Three and two on Moore. The set and the 3-2. And a fly ball. That's hit to, well out to right field. But Townsend over there to make the catch. Runners from second and third will tag. Throw goes to third base, but it's wide of the bag. And another run in for the Angels. A sacrifice fly off the bat of Josh Moore. Woods scores on the play. Tarasano goes to third. Ito's courtesy runner. Cerna stays at first base, but uh, a run in to make it 4 nothing Angels, and now runners at the corners with two outs for Adam Wolf. And the first one to Wolf over for a strike. Wolf struck out swinging in the second. Runner goes. The ball hit on the left side and into left field for a hit. The runner going to try for third base. The throw comes in, and he's out by a bunch at third. The run is in, though, to score for the Angels. It's an RBI single for Adam Wolf as Tarasano scores. Two runs across in the third inning for the Angels, and after two and a half, they lead the Huskies by a score of five to nothing. Bottom three in the order for the Huskies in the third as Hunter Townsend leads off and takes outside for ball one. Townsend, Bricker, and Bell for the Huskies in the third, the 1-0. Up and in, two balls and no strikes. Huskies just trying to get something going here against Joe Ito. Six of seven retired in the first two innings. And a fastball over for a strike, and it's two and one. The two one from Ito, and a fly ball into shallow center field, and that's down in front of Tarasano, a base hit. Townsend with a single, second ahead of the ball game for the Huskies. 
And the batter is Ryan Bricker. And Bricker going after the first one, hits a fly ball down the left field line, and that's going to get down for a base hit. And Bricker into second base. Well, he got turned around on that one, hit it deep. Down the left field line. Townsend to third, and Bricker to second. And then the batter is Nash Bell. Alex Reeder on to run at second base, courtesy runner for the Huskies. Running for the catcher, Bricker. And a breaking ball to Nash Bell outside for ball one. for a strike and it's one and one. The one one pitch. Over for a strike and it's one and two. Check swing and a grounder foul on the right side. Two pitch. And that one fouled off. And Bell down on strike says. Uh, Ito gets the strikeout, his fourth. And it's back to the top of the Huskies order for George Jennings. And the first one misses inside for ball one. Jennings lined out to Woods, the second baseman, back in the first. And a ground ball over to the right side. Woods going to get a chance there and throws out the runner. Put the Huskies are on the board. An RBI ground down off the bat of George Jennings. As Townsend scores. And the Huskies on the board in the bottom of the third inning, out trailing 5-1. to one. And Josh Preston, who struck out swinging his first time up, going after the first one and fouls it back to the net. Huskies with a single and a double to begin the inning, a strikeout, but then a ground out got the run in. And Reeder running for Ryan Bricker now at third base. The one strike pitch. And a ground ball out to second Woods Fields. And the throw to first base in time to end the inning. Good start of the inning for the Huskies, and they're able to cash in one run on two hits. They leave one, and after three, the Huskies now trail the Reds by a score of 5-1. to one.
Nick Story leads off for the Angels in the fourth and takes a strike on the outside corner. Hunter Townsend now on to pitch for the Huskies. And the next one outside, it's one and one. Lays off the next one that misses off the outside corner. A ball, two and one. And the next one away. Three balls and a strike. High fly ball. That's out to right center field. And that ball down as the outfielders got together again out there. And you can see them both just uh, kind of pull away at the last second, worried about contact out there. Having trouble with the communication. And so it falls in between the outfielders. And Story is aboard for Preston Ryan. First one to Ryan is low for a ball. Preston had an RBI single his last time up. And a pitch fouled off at the plate. It's one and one. Next story over at first base, his second hit of the ball game. He doubled and scored. Back in the second, now a leadoff single in the fourth. Angels lead it 5-1. to one. The winner advances to the championship game in the upper class division in the Desert Classic Session 2. The ball fouled off, and it's one ball and two strikes again. It's uh, Angels red here against the Huskies. The other semifinal, Angels blue against AZ Pro Brockish. Runner goes, and the ball just kind of nubbed down the first base line. And a ground out as Matt Kroon. Uh, maybe uh, Chris Isbell, I guess, over there at first base. Three unassisted on the play. Looked over and saw the number 22, but I uh, got 22s on both corners. For the Huskies. But uh, Ryan grounds out. His story goes to second base. And now Bricker out to talk to Townsend. Pitch to Brian Leeds over for a strike. The 0 1. Side. One ball and one strike. Leach walked his first time up. One on and one out in the top of the fourth inning. Angels have scored in each of the first three innings, trying to get another one here in the fourth. Look back, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Kind of a running uh, lead out there at third, at uh, second base, rather, and that allows Story to steal third. Uh, Story at third with one away, one and two. They count on Brian Leitz, Joe Nunley, uh, John Nunley, rather, next. For the Angels. And 
and the Huskies will bring the infield in. Fastball high. Two balls, two strikes. And the 2 2. And a grounder foul. Another 2 2. And a pitch outside. Three balls and two strikes. And a 3-2. And a hard hit ground ball to short. Not going to get the run in with the infield playing in. The Huskies make the right call defensively. Worston fields the ground ball and a 6-3 ground out retires Leitz as Story has to stay at third base. And now it'll take something with two outs from John Nunnally. And Nunnally going after the first one. Hits it well out to right field and he's going to get it done. and hits it over the head of the right fielder. It's going to go to the warning track. And Nunnally stops at second base with an RBI double. And the Angels score in the fourth. An RBI double from John Nunnally makes it 6-1. to one. And the five-run lead back for the Angels' red. Now Connor Woods. He takes a strike on the outside corner. Pitch misses for a ball, one and one. Woods with a single and a couple of steals and a run in the first, a single and a run in the third. And a fastball off the outside corner, two and one. Two outs and a runner at second, a run in for the Angels as they lead six to one. Turn back to second, but no throw. Now the set, the 2 1 pitch. Over for a strike. And it's 2 and 2. The 2-2 two -two pitch with a runner going. The ball lifted into right field. And that's put away in right to end the inning. But the Angels get another run in the fourth. They score a run on two hits and leave one after three and a half. It's now the Angels six and the Huskies one. Three, four, and five of the order for the Huskies. In the bottom of the fourth inning, Chris Esbell leads off. And that's pulled foul down the left field line, and that's strike one. And a swing and a miss out in front there. No balls and two strikes. Isabel, Kroon, and Williams scheduled for the Huskies in the fourth. And they trail six to one. The 0 2. Fastball high. And now the 1 2 pitch. 
breaking ball just misses outside two and two. Into the wind, the two two pitch. Fastball high, three and two. Pitch is low for ball four. So Isbell works a walk and starts things off for the Huskies in the fourth. Now Matt Kroon, who was called out on strikes in the second. Ball belly button high over the outside corner, a strike. Nito will turn and throw easy to first base and the runner back. strike pitch. A little bit low and outside. One and one. You know, one run and three hits allowed in the first three innings. Lead off walk here in the fourth. His first walk of the ball game. The one one. And that's a line drive and that's into right field down for a base hit. And now the Huskies have something going here in the fourth. A walk and a single to begin the inning. And the batter is Evan Williams. Williams had a base hit his first time up. First hit of the ball game, in fact, for the Huskies. They've got four hits in the game now. And a breaking ball to Williams over for a strike. The set, the look back to second, and the one strike pitch. It's over for a strike and a throw down to first, but uh, Kroon back well ahead of the throw. Two aboard, nobody out. Bottom of the fourth, Huskies down six to one. The 0-2. Breaking ball in the dirt. Leitz blocks it. And the count 1-2. and two. And that pitch over for a strike. Williams... Not able to pull the trigger there, and he's called out on strikes for the first down of the inning. Now Max Malinak, the DH for the Huskies. Runners go. The ball bounced up the middle, fielded behind the bag, and with the runners taken off, the only play is to first base. As Murphy 
fielded the ground ball right near the bag at second and throws down Malinak. His bell and Kroon again, though, on the move, and they move up a base each. So runners at second and third, but now two outs for Kobe Tinsley. Breaking ball to Tinsley misses for ball one. Going to be grounded out to end the second. A fastball outside, 2-0. You know, working out of the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Fouled out of play on the first base side. And another one fouled out of play. Now 2-2. Two and two. Out of the one on the 2-2 pitch. Punched out and knocked foul. First base side out of play. You know, a pitch away from getting out of trouble in the fourth inning. After a walk and a single started it. The 2-2. And not going to get it done. That ball is down into the outfield in between the right fielder and center fielder. Tarasano over to pick it up, but not before the Huskies get a couple of runs as Tensley comes through with a two-run single. Espel and Kroon score, and that cuts the deficit to 6-3. And now Tinsley aborted first for Hunter Townsend. And the first one low for a ball. Townsend singled and scored his first time up. One oh pitch. Fastball outside corner, a strike. It's one and one. And the set the one one with a runner going, the pitch outside. And the throw's gonna get into center field. Throw will go to third base and it'll not be in time. So a stolen base for Tinsley and then an E2 moves Tinsley to third base. First error of the ball game for either side. And now another run just 90 feet away for the Huskies. The 2-1. Breaking ball bounced in there and blocked by Leitz. And the 3-1 pitch. Fouled down the right field side and out of play. Couple of rows into the seats. And it's 3-2.
3-2 fouled off. Couple of runs in for the Huskies in the fourth down 6-3. And a swing and a miss on a breaking ball. Townsend strikes out and that ends the inning. Huskies get two runs. On two hits, one error, and one runner left. We've put four in the books here in the semifinals in the upper class division of the 2013 Desert Classic Session 2. And the Huskies now trail the Reds by a score of 6-3. to three. You got a pinch hitter to begin the inning. And a fly ball into center field. And caught out there in center as Jake Rodriguez has a base hit taken away by the center fielder, Evan Williams. So one pitch and one out in the fifth inning. Joe Ito takes the first one inside for ball one. And the 1 0 pinch. And that's a line drive, and that's into left field, a base hit. So Joe Ito having a good day. Third base hit, and a double and a run in the first, a bunt single in the third, and now a single in the fifth inning. Now Tyler Murphy, the shortstop, bats with one on and one out. First a courtesy runner. As Tarasano runs now at first base, since he's out of the ball game, lifted uh, for a pinch hitter to begin the inning. Now Murphy ready. And the first pitch over for a strike. The one strike pitch. Over the inside corner, it's 0-2. The set of the two strike pitch and a foul ball off the netting on the first base side. We stay 0 2. Runner goes and a ball fouled off. Set another two strike pitch and a fastball high. One and two. The one two pitch. That well, one didn't miss by much. Two and two. Tarasana running for Ito at first base with one out top of the fifth inning. Angels leading the Huskies six to three. The 2-2 with the runner going, the pitch outside, and the throw down is not in time. And now a 3-2. And a fly ball hit well out to center field. This will send Williams back, and it's over his head. Runner's going to be waved around third base. We'll try to score. And it's an RBI triple for Tyler Murphy. Murphy 
Murphy hit that ball hard. Thought that Williams might have a play on it. The ball uh, really just kind of hit straight at him, and that's a hard one for the outfielders to deal with. Easier if you can turn and kind of take an angle at a ball and instead had to go uh, straight back, and it got over his head. And that allowed the runner to come around to score. So the Angels back on the board in the fifth inning. They have scored a run in each of the five innings. And now John Souza pinch hits and gets hit. So a hit by pitch sends Souza to first base, and it puts runners at the corners with one out and a run into the batter, Adam Wolf. But uh, with that run in, then it makes it seven to three Angels in the top of the fifth. First base and the runner back. Wolf with an RBI single his last time up, one for two on the day. Pitch bounced in there as Brecker blocked it but didn't get it clean, and so Souza takes off and goes to second on a wild pitch. Puts another runner into scoring position for the Angels. As the infield comes in again for the Huskies. The 1 0 pinch and a ground ball, and that's through the hole and into left field for a base hit. And that ball bobbled out in left field. That's going to allow the runner to. Uh, Boy, come around and end up doing a, a somersault there to get in and score. And two run single for Wolf. And the Angels have scored three times in the fifth inning. And they lead nine to three. And the batter going to get another pinch hitter as. Tim Cerna will bat for Story. Throw to first and the runner back. One on one out, three across for the Angels. In the fifth inning is the first one to Cerna is low for a ball. Next one low. That one's going to get between the legs of Bricker and go to the backstop, and that allows Wolf to go to second base. Angels for sure have kept the pressure on all day. Two runs in the first, one in the second, two in the third, one in the fourth, now three in the fifth. 9-3 our score. And Townsend steps off. Fastball over the outside corner, a strike, two at one. Set from Townsend in the 2-1 instead of turn back to second, but no play. Runner goes, the pitch a strike, and the throw sails and goes into left field, and that'll get another run in. Wolf. With a stolen base and then an E2 
brings the run in. It is a four-run fifth inning. And it's 10-3 Angels. The 2-2. Two -two. And a fly ball. And that's going to get uh, between the outfielders. Uh, but good hustle to get over there. Williams got it cut off. And... Cerner will have to stop at first base with a long single. Fourth hit of the inning for the Angels. And they've got 14 hits in the ballgame. Skylar Dush will pinch hit in the fifth inning. With Cerna boarded first base and one out, four across for the Angels in the fifth. And the first pitch foul back into the seats out of play. So the semifinals in the upper class division, the Desert Classic session number two. Winner of this game will face the winner of the Angels Blue AZ Pro Brockish semifinal. That's going on at the auxiliary field out past the fence in center. The 1-1. One, one. And a swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Pitch outside, two and two. Easton Bruce in the on deck circle for the Angels. Here's the two two. And a swing and a miss. Stand on strikes, two away in the Angel fifth. And we do get another pinch hitter as Easton Bruce is on. To hit here in the fifth inning. And first pitch to Bruce is high for a ball. Townsend trying to get through this fifth inning without allowing another run. The Angels have scored four times already in the fifth. The 1 0. With the runner going, the pitch is strike to throw to second base. That's not in time, and Cerna has a steal. So he moves into scoring position. A ball and a strike on Easton Bruce, pinch hitting for Brian Leeds here in the fifth. The set of the 1-1. One, one. And a pop up first base side, but out of play. And the count now 1-2. and two. Potentially going to get one more pinch hitter here as uh, Marcus Elias in the on-deck circle. He'll hit for John Nunnally if uh, the Angels get that far here in the fifth. And the one two. That's outside. Two balls and two strikes. Cerna at second base for the Angels with two outs in the inning. They've scored four times in the fifth. 10 3 our score. The 2 2 just missed inside. 3 and 2. And the 3 2. And the ground ball foul on the 
third base side. And that pitch will miss for ball four. And Bruce is aboard at first base. And ground ball foul as we get back to play here. And we do get a pinch hitter. Marcus Salaya will bat in the fifth. The one strike pitch. That's outside, one and one. And three our score here in the top of the fifth. The one one. Over the outside corner a strike. One and two. And the look back to second and the one two. Instead a timeout. Back to it with a set of the check of the runner at second base and the one two. And a swing and a miss, a strikeout, and that ends the inning. But a good one for the Angels. They score four times in the top of the fifth inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's now 10 3 Angels. Underway in the bottom of the fifth inning as. Ryan Brigger takes strike one. And a new pitcher out there is Tim Cerna. We'll begin the fifth. The 0-1. It's a fastball high, a one and one. Several changes to go along with those pinch hitters for the Angels. We'll get some of those to you here. There's a swing and a miss, and it's one and two. John Souza, the new left fielder. Preston Ryan now in center field. Marco Celaya in right field. Mentioned Cerner, the new pitcher, and Easton Bruce now behind the plate for the Angels. The one two outside. Two balls and two strikes. And three Angels with the lead in the bottom of the fifth inning. Have to keep a little bit of an eye now on the start time, and I don't know uh, for sure the exact start time uh, as far as what they've got officially. We're supposed to start at 8.30. We may have been right around there, perhaps even a couple of minutes early, but there is a two-hour time limit in that uh, no new inning can start after two hours. There's a swing and a miss, and Bricker strikes out. And with one away, the batter is Nash Bell. And Bell with a swing and a miss, kind of a half swing there, trying to hold up and could not. And it's strike one. Breaky ball outside, and it's one and one. Well, the Huskies got a couple of runs in the bottom of the fourth inning to get closer, trailing six to three. But then they gave up four runs in the fifth inning. So next one is inside, two and one. And that's a really stretched things out, made it a 10 3 lead for the Angels. That's where we're at in the bottom of the fifth. The 2 1 pitch popped up in the infield, 
It's going to be Celia, the pitcher, in foul territory as Bruce didn't see it coming off the bat. And so Celia, uh, Cerna rather had to make the play. I may have said uh, Celia, but it's uh, Tim Cerna that made the catch. And it's out number two. So now two away, back to the top of the order for George Jennings. Jennings is headed out to Woods at second base, both times up, once on a line, once on the ground. And it takes the first one for ball one. Two out spaces empty, bottom of the fifth inning. And the next one outside, and it's 2 0. Oh. Pitch outside, three balls and no strikes. And a 3 0. And then misses. Four pitch walk sends George Jennings to first base. And now Bruce out to talk to his pitcher. So we're going to miss for Josh Briston on a breaking ball on at strike one. This is out of the one strike pitch. And that's fouled back to the net, and it's 0-2. Cerna checks the runner at first. Now the set and the 0-2. And a fly ball. That's hit pretty well out to left center field, and that's going to get between the outfielders. Runner's going to be waved around in the relay throw. And the throw instead is cut off. It's an RBI double for Josh Briston. And the Huskies get a run back in the bottom of the fifth inning, now trailing 10-4. The batter will be Chris Isbell, but first an Angels timeout. Playing in the fifth, 10-4, Angels. First pitch to Chris Isbell, high for a ball. The 1-0 pitch. On the inside corner, a strike, and it's one and one. And we got to be getting uh, pretty close on time limit here. We'll see once uh, this inning is over. Swing and a miss. Bruce thought about trying to throw behind the runner, but uh, did not. And the count uh, one and two on Chris Isbell. It's an easy pro brockish, it looks like, that has won the other semifinal as they've uh, started to make their way into the stadium from the auxiliary field. The 1 2 pitch and a swing and a miss. And Isbell out on strikes. Huskies get a run in the fifth inning on one hit, and they leave one. And uh, looks like that's going to do it here as. This game will end in five innings as the Angels Red beat the Huskies by a final score of 10 to 4. 10 runs, 14 hits, and one error for the Angels. Four runs on six hits and an error for the Huskies. Huskies eliminated from the tournament. The Angels Red will advance to play in the upper class championship game. And that's coming up here very shortly from Holcomb Stadium. And uh, so that'll do it again, our final score. The Angels red 10 and the Huskies 4 from Holcomb Stadium in Mesa. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long. We'll talk to you again soon.